This video will demonstrate how to set up ICW using two separate individual hardware sound cards. The first sound card we'll be using will be the motherboard sound card. The second sound card can be uh, several. I have a USB Soundwave 7.1 that I'm using. It works pretty good and it's about the size of a thumb drive. Very simple. It's just a headphone adapter. It doesn't even have a microphone. But it can be pretty much any sound card. You can take a look at one. Here's another USB sound card from Creative. A little, more, a little bit fancier. Here's a Firewire. And here's a PCI Express sound card that you plug in your computer, one of the slots on your motherboard and even a cheap PCI sound card will work. So whatever the sound card is, go ahead and install it in your computer. Let your operating system recognize it and install it fully. Many times you don't even have to install any additional drivers from the software CD that came with the sound card. And that's what happened uh, when I installed mine. I didn't need to install the drivers from the CD at all. It works right out of the box as soon as I plugged it in Windows recognized it. Once you have it installed and it's ready to go it will usually place it as the default sound device and we don't want that so we need to go to the start menu control panel and sound and audio devices click on the audio tab and make sure that your default device is your motherboard sound card and not that second sound card you just installed. My second sound card is called the USB sound device and so we're good to go here and in the sound recording the sound card that will do the recording make sure it's not that second sound card is not the default device either set, set it back to what it was before. Click apply and OK and we should be done with this. Okay, now we're going to go take a look at the volume mixer for that second sound card. So you double click on your speaker icon and it'll bring up a volume mixer. It will probably be the motherboard sound card, so you don't want that one. To get to the second sound card, just click on Options and Properties. And in this tab, drop down tab, pick which one you pick that the name of that second sound card and here is the second sound card for my system here it's a USB sound device is what they're calling it the volume sometimes will be halfway down just raise that all the way back up same thing with the wave all the way back up check the advanced tab make sure the loudness is checked if you have that setting that gives you a little more volume which is very helpful when it comes to listening on headphones. Okay so we're done with that volume mixer. Close out of it. Now let's tell Mumble to use that second sound card to hear everything. So we're gonna change the sound card settings in Mumble. Go to configure settings On the audio input tab, choose the motherboard sound card. Everything else stays the same. Click apply. Go to the output. And this is where we choose the second sound card, whatever it's called on your system. Mine's the USB sound device, so I've already got it selected. Just click the tab and choose this one or whatever your one is, whichever one you have. Again, click apply and OK. And that'll, then we'll be done with this for a second. Now let's go to FL Digi and change the sound card there. Now the concept that we're going to do here is we're using the second sound card just to listen to everything on Mumble. But to send CW from your station you're going to use the motherboard sound card as an interface between FL Digi and Mumble. Before we were using the WS audio device. However, the WS only works on Windows, so anybody that had a Mac or Linux couldn't use that. And if you had Vista 64 bit, you couldn't use the WS. And other people were reporting uh, that it was a little bit buggy 
and sometimes it crashed and you had to reboot it. So it was just a free solution and it was easy to implement and it sounded pretty good and it worked for most people. But this will work for everybody. So let's go to FL Digi and tell it to use the motherboard sound card. So bring up the config modem, click on the audio tab, make sure port audio is checked, and in your playback, drop it down, and under Windows Direct Sound Device, choose the motherboard sound card. On mine, it's called SoundMax. Click Save. You'll probably have to hit this transmit button right here again, so make sure that's on. And there are red lights. There we go. And let's send some CW and see if we hear it on the motherboard speakers. There they are. And it's also, I've already got it set up where it's already going out. You can see the red light here, so it's activating mumble. So I'm sending CW on mumble using the motherboard sound card. To do that, you have to click uh, the recording mixer on the motherboard sound card. You have to click stereo mix instead of mic in or line in jack. So you have to bring up this mixer. And I'll bring up the volume master volume too. Okay. So again, to bring to bring those up, you'll get this one first, and just click Options, Properties, and click Recording, and it'll bring you to this mixer here. And make sure you have stereo mix, and that's very critical in the volume. You have to have this almost at the bottom. So take it all the way down, and then move it up a little bit. And over on this one, you have to on the wave slider, you have to take it down to below halfway. This is important because you don't want to send too much audio to mumble and it'll, it'll distort and you'll get a distorted sound. So you can play with this on using the loopback test and let's let's do that now. So instead of listening to my side, side tone here from FL Digi on the motherboard, which is an option, you're welcome to do that. I don't listen to the side tone so I'm going to mute it for right now. And I'm going to test and see, since we selected that second sound card to listen to mumble, we're going to go in here and use the loopback test and see what our own signal sounds like. So you go to the Audio Output tab, select Server, click Apply, and now we should hear it on that second sound card speaker. And there it is. Okay, it sounds pretty good, so if you're satisfied, just uh, change this back to none. Apply. OK. So that's basically the, the setup on how to do this and all the volume mixers that you need. One final note is if you want if you're if it's important to you to hear your own side tone and you don't want to use the motherboard sound card, which is very easy to do, you just unmute it. But if you want to hear your own side tone in the same speaker or headphones that you're using to listen to mumble with, you'll have to use Audacity to do that. And in a previous video, I described how to do that. So you have to bring this up, choose the motherboard sound card as the input with this drop down tab under Windows Direct Sound. And on the output of Audacity, you're going to select the USB sound device. And we'll demonstrate that quickly here. You can look at that video for further details on how to get this set up properly. Again, we're using the stereo mix. Now let's send some CW on FL Digi. And there it is. As you can see, these V-meter, VU meters are going to light up. And we're going out on Mumble 2. So we're going to be able to hear everyone from Mumble on that second sound card and now I'm able to hear my own side tone by using this Audacity because of this transport software playthrough function that it has. And we're not recording anything because I have it on pause. That's basically how you get ICW set up with two independent separate hardware sound cards.